First up, Olivia. I'm really happy that I got all the elements on the plate, but I'm worried that in the rush I didn't use enough of my butter sauce. What have you cooked for us? It is a pumpkin and thyme filled pasta, bread and pancetta crumb with a burnt butter and sage sauce. The question is, is there a sauce? And I know we saw you toss your pasta in the burnt butter, but there was a, a large bowl of burnt butter there. Yeah. Generous with crumb, with sage, with pancetta. You should have been more generous with the butter. It's pretty. It's a very pretty dish. And the little raviolis themselves are fantastic. We reckon, Sean? Well, from the brief perspective, the ravioli's nice. The only thing is that what Marco mentioned about the butter, when you add more butter and it actually becomes a sauce, you don't get that greasiness. There's a slight greasiness. But look, watching you work, I was like, soda bread? My God, what are you doing? But actually, you know, I have to go apologise to you because to put that technique into there, I think it's a great idea. Thank you. This dish tells me a lot about you. It tells me you understand flavour, you understand texture, you understand technique. But you needed the butter to absorb the crumb. Yeah. Very clever dish. Nidhi, you're next. My ravioli hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to be, but I'm hoping that I've done enough to impress the judges. I really want a chance to fight for the immunity pin. Nidhi, what have you cooked? Mushroom, ricotta, and bacon ravioli with porcini broth and some sage butter and bacon crumble. It does look rich, doesn't it? Although those ravioli aren't the most even. This challenge is about filled pasta with a sauce. So the mere fact you bring a sauce is a big plus in your favour. But for me, the pasta is the weakness because I think it's too thick. For a challenge when we're looking at technique yeah. and finesse, this probably is the dish. I like the usage of butter, which is floated over your broth. I think that's very clever. But it's not your best dish, I'm very sorry to say, Niddy. I am your biggest fan. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. Thank you. Zoe! <laughs> Zoe, what have you cooked? I've made a roast pumpkin and goat's cheese ravioli with speck, sage and butter sauce and a macadamia crumb. Look, I love the generous chunks of bacon. It looks really wonderful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I love it because you've not been shy with the nutmeg. Um, you've, you've sweetened that pumpkin with a bit of honey, which is great, so you, you've got over that problem. Yeah. There's enough butter lurking at the bottom of the bowl so you actually get that, that kind of... I think it's absolutely delicious. I love the sage, I love the crunch. So for me, that, that's a cracking dish. Flavour, flavour, flavour. Really good pasta too. Thank you. You know, when I looked at it first, I thought there's not enough sauce, but when you eat it together, it works brilliantly. Delicious, delicious, delicious. And I like the fact you didn't overcook your bacon to the point where it's gone salty. Yeah. Really good. Well done. Thank you. Zoe, it's pretty obvious that you have won this challenge. You will be cooking against Top Chef for Immunity. Congratulations, Zoe. <laughs>